What's up, y'all? My name's Ace Burpee here in downtown Winnipeg. I'm a big downtown guy, like huge fan. Lots of people live in this area or come visit this area for lots of reasons. A lot of pro sports go down in our downtown. Art scene incredible, whether it's indoor concerts, live music, outdoor concerts, the theater scene, incredible. Uh, they come here to eat, to chill, to feel alive. And, uh, but when you like, when you think about our downtown or look at our downtown, whether you're in it or looking at it from like a distance, what do you think is missing? What could add to our downtown? Is there something like glaring that we're missing, right? Like, so we're in Old Market Square right now, right? If this was July, I'd be like, why am I not shooting hoops? Like seriously, that'd be my first like, I'm like, well, where's the basketball net? What are we doing here? You know what I'm saying? Or is there something, so like something glaring that's missing or like something in your neighborhood where you're like, yo, this works here. How come we don't have one downtown? Right, like there's so many things and the possibilities, the possibilities are literally endless. Like endless, there's no rules on this. Like, so I'm happier downtown when, so there's certain times a year, certain events where they'll have streets closed, right? And it's more alive, I feel more alive. No cars, streets closed, pedestrians only, absolutely rules, I love it. And then like, I don't know, I start like, like some of the ideas, like someone might be like, well that's ridiculous, right? But then I'm like, I don't know, is it? Cause I'm like, so my first idea for this was Portage of Maine, but then I'm like, I don't know, it might cause like a car accident, but because I've always dreamed of a zip line across Portage of Maine. I'm not even kidding. Like, I'm like, that'd be so fire. You're driving through Portage of Maine and you're like, what? Like someone's doing a zip line across. And then I'm like, okay, let's say that that, let's say that's a bad idea. I don't know. I don't make the rules on that stuff, but I'm like, okay, we could have a zip line that goes across the exchange or goes across somewhere in downtown and that would totally rule. I'm big, uh, I've been skateboarding like my whole life and I'm a big skateboard guy, still skateboard, but uh, an accessible, inclusive, all year round indoor skate park in our downtown is to me, literally like extending a mental health lifeline to people. We have to have it. We have to make it happen. I was, I was thinking of this one, I don't know, stay with me. Hear, or hear me out at least. But like, you know, so my girlfriend and I will go to the forks. We'll skate around on the trails. There's like actual trails on the land at the forks, right? Super dope, love it. But I'm like, what if there's a trail that like went from the forks all the way over the bridge into St. Boniface. Now I'm skating around St. Boniface on the other side of the Red River. That'd be fun. And then I'm like, or we go the other way and we have skating trails start at the forks and then we end up in like downtown Winnipeg skating around downtown. I don't know. To me, it seems super fun. So yeah, just like what can we add or do differently, right? The, the number of things that we do, not, and not just in our downtown, I'm talking period. The number of things that we do, that we do because that's how it's always been done. The number of those is shockingly high. And so if you're like, okay, this is a certain way, nothing needs to be a certain way forever. Just let her rip. Yeah, we'll make something happen. 